I want to talk a little bit more about grid affinity. I know, I know, Dave, here, kick that dead horse. It's a fun system, and I wanted to talk a little more about it because I've had some questions about it, about some things I've been seeing. Greetings, Dave here, DCBFX. I want to talk quickly about Gridfinity again. This doing this many talks about it, maybe it's not that quickly. I want to talk about something I said, but first of all, let me show you uh, my finished drawer. So that is a drawer that I've made uh, to fit the Gridfinity system for what I need it for. So I printed out five by twos. I printed six of them. And then I used that connector, which in my last video, someone asked about what, where did you find the connector? Well, I posted it in the comments. Uh, it was funny. I had to do a deep dive. Once I found uh, Kyle's files, which, you know, had um, a, a better way of doing it. Now I still, well, about the magnets, but it's, I wish I took a video. It was so funky. I have a magnet jig that you just slide underneath and then you put a little glue in and they just and because the glue is like kind of thick and jelly it, it was just surreal watching it you you know you put the jig underneath you put the glue in and you put the magnet down and it goes and it was just funky to watch wish i had a video i didn't do one. Oh well so i want to talk about this part that i've said before to talk about being uh parametric what does parametric mean well let me show you well, this is what the file looks like. Let me hop over to Fusion 360 and I'll show you what I mean. So this is the file here. This is what Zach has made. Zach has made everything available for free. All you do is you go into things and then you find whatever you want. I search for Gridfinity and then find what you want and download it. And it well, click on it. And it gives you the option when you click on it to say, I want to open this in Fusion 360. Now, Fusion 360 is a great designing program for doing 3D modeling. Now, if you're someone like me, oh, I'm doing this just for free fun, uh, you can get a hobbyist license. So basically you just reapply every year and you're good to go. Uh, you're limited to 10. So you see uh, down here, I've got 10 things on here. I have to put some of them as read only because I don't use them all the time. So things like the uh, 11 months I can get rid of because I'm almost at 12. But I will want to go in and change things. So I like this spacer, I don't need anymore. I can file that away because it's done for what I need. But this is what Zach has called the nipper holder. Now, this is funky. It's a great file for what he needs for, but, well, let me show you this. I don't have six. I only need this many. And this is really easy to do. Let me go back to it and I'll show you. So because it's parametric what it means is that when zach made this he added it so said this is this long and this is this long and this one set the parameters so if you wanted to change this up all you do is go over to modify if i go into the right window and go all the way down to change parameters so here's all the parameters of this particular device so what i want to do here and for example it's four slots deep i go in there Change that to two, and it's going to think for a second, and now it is that big, and that big is as big as I need it to be. If I wanted to make another one, I could, like something with a few more, I could change this, again, modify the parameters, and where that says two, I could make that three, so that will then be three wide. And if I just were to flip that around, so it's a three by two system now. So that's what I mean by parametric. You can go in and do whatever you want. So if you went in and you wanted to change some of the divider bins, say, well, you know, he's got so many different options available, but if you want to go into divider bins and you took a I don't know, you took a, a five long, you want to make it a six long. You can go and do that. Why well, was six long, but I want seven slots in it. Well, you can do that too. It's really quite easy. And by using parameters, you can always make sure that the, uh, basically the dimensions are right. Well, not the dimensions, but the proportions are right. So by this way, the bottom is always correct. The bottom is always doing what it needs to do. So it has, you know, the, the, the 1.7 
inch, whatever it is, whatever he made it out to be, that's always right. And then if it, you're making a bin that, that you know, is stackable, the top is always right to fit that in. But you can do whatever you want inside. So if you look at thangs.com, there's so many different things that have been made by Zach and by other people. Grid Finney's only been around, I think, for seven, eight months. And like there was, there's tons and tons of different files available to you. So I hope this helps clear up some of the questions that I've been getting in regards to it. What, 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 par what parametric? What exactly are you talking about? That's what it means. So if I wanted to change this file to make it a little bit different, again, I can take that and go in and modify it or just start with a basic you know, uh, file, which is just a basic box and add whatever I want to add to it. Like I have taken his file for the pine sole, which is this is a nice uh, small soldering iron. And I've added it to, where I'm bringing the whole thing over here. I've made this particular holder. So this is a, a file that Zach made and I've added the various pieces and I've got extra tips in here. So that is something you can easily do. And if I want to make it longer or shorter or modify it or make it wider or do whatever, I can do that because it's all parametric. So hopefully that helps you know, clear the confusion on this. And hey, by the way, happy Friday, everyone. Uh, this is the first day of my vacation. So if you're wondering why is this coming up on, you know, 12 o'clock, right? It usually comes up at 7 a.m. Vacation. I'm on holiday right now. So I'm still going to do my videos because that's what I do. But yeah, it's a little bit later in the day because I slept in because I owe it to myself. This is my one vacation I get every year. I take off between Christmas and New Year's. And other than uh, I take a few Fridays here and there, I don't really do a lot of vacations because I work for myself by myself and I'm quite busy. So there you go. So that is today's video. Uh, we are, what, the 23rd of December, close to Happy Ho-Ho Day. So everyone have a great time. Hope you survive snowpocalypse. That is, if you're in the area, it's uh, kind of ugly here and it's going to get worse, but there you go. So everyone have a great day and we'll talk to you all later.